Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily integrate CodeBoard with edX. This integration is done via so-called LTI components and the edX documentation contains quite some information about them. However, the setup is not so complicated and I'm just going to show you what you need to do to enable LTI for your edX course. Let me switch over to edX Studio where I have the course that I'm currently developing and the first thing we need to do is go to the advanced settings and then we see right away that there's the advanced module list and here what you need to do is to add LTI in quotes to make LTI available for your course. Then scroll further down till you find the setting LTI passports and here you need to provide another string that contains three values. The first is just some ID and the second is a client key and the third a client secret and this key and secret will be used in the communication between edX and CodeBoard and the idea is so you can identify this pair. So for this tutorial I'm just going to use the ID CodeBoard test and key and secret test test. Now you want to save these changes and then you can go back to your course. And I'm going to add now a new exercise. And let me call this programming lab and you see now here this advanced component button and if you click on it then you can select LTI and we now have here an LTI component. Before we continue I'm going to switch over to CodeBoard and configure the project that we want to use here for the programming exercise. I'm already logged in and created this edX demo project but I'm now going to go into the settings and the first thing I want to do is say this pri project is private so nobody can really access it except the owner. I'm going to allow submissions because students should be able to submit their code and I'm also going to allow LTI access and as you see here LTI users can access a project regardless of the access control settings. So I'm making this project private meaning no one else on the CodeBoard website can access it but then through LTI meaning through edX users do get access to this project. I have to provide now the same key and secret that I used on edX which was test and test. Save my changes and this is now the URL through which I can access this project via LTI. I'm going to copy it and then come back here on this page and I'm now going to configure uh, this LTI component. So we want to put in the URL under LTI URL and then here we want to give this ID from this triple string which was simply code board test and which is then taking the key and secret which was test test for communicating with code board. We can also configure um, if the code board should now be opened in a new browser tab or if it should be embedded in the edX website and I'm going to say it should be embedded and we also want this exercise to be scored so we will give some points to it and actually I want it to have uh, three points. Now I'm going to save this and then we see that CodeBoard is showing up on our edX page and you can still go ahead and compile your changes, run the program and so on. Now what's important to test the submission you first have to publish this exercise and then switch to the live version. And here we now have uh, 
our exercise and let me actually now compile this and do a submission and we're seeing it's submitting the solution and uh, I passed 33 percent of all the tests so I should probably get one point unfortunately now uh, when Codeboard is sending the uh, this percentage back to edX this uh, the edX page does not automatically update this value so what we need to do is a refresh in order to see how many points we now actually got and now after the refresh I see that I got one from three points right now I can still see the hidden files here because I'm still logged in as the project owner demo one so I'm gonna go to uh, codeboard and actually sign out here and then when I refresh all the hidden files will be gone and as we see now I'm anonymous so I'm not signed in but nonetheless I can make changes here and I can also even um, submit the project and that means edX students aren't forced to create a codeboard account.